It's the big day. Obviously, you committed to him over the summer, but to finally put pen to paper, how good does it feel? It feels so good. I'm ready to get to Virginia, man. It's a lot of, you know, stress off my back. Uh, I'm just ready to get to Virginia and get to work. Uh, take me through, because I don't, was it ever, was there ever any confliction? Did you ever consider committing somewhere else? Or did, was it other places make late chases? And if so, what made you stick with Michigan? Yeah, they had a lot of uh, a lot of chases after I committed or whatever, but I was 100% locked in regardless. Uh, La Tech, uh, Mississippi State, Auburn, they came after me pretty hard after I committed. Uh, Washington State and Tulane also, but I just felt like Virginia was the place for me to be and for me to you know change the culture over there. Absolutely. So you had offers from Mississippi State and Auburn, and so how important was it to be able to play both sports, football, baseball, in your decision? Yeah, it was very important. Honestly, a lot of coaches didn't really realize how important it was. Uh, a lot of coaches want me to play just football, so that kind of was like, I don't want to go over there. Uh, but then also you had the, the programs who would let me do two sports. And I think the biggest thing with me was just having a relationship with both, both coaches, both football and baseball. So I think that's what really set Liberty apart from all the rest of the small schools. You are one of Jordan's best friends, oh, obviously. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, he committed to Penn State in the summer. It was cool. Yeah. I knew where his heart was. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. You know we, know, I mean? we know, we yeah. know. To see him go to his dream school, I'm calling it. Mm -hmm. Just what's that like for you as an instructor? So a real moment. We've been talking about that since ninth grade year, the first time I met him. Uh, he, you know, he works hard every day, uh, on and off the field. That's something I can I can never take away from Jordan. Uh, and just when he gets to that battle, that's all I can say is just good luck. He's gonna go over there. He's gonna change the program around definitely. Him and Fitz together are gonna change the program. You know, also with their recruiting class. So I think that was a big, a great, great, great fit for him. And for the three of y'all. Like, y'all had it in the consecutive weekends over the summer, but to be signing together on this day for it to be uh, becoming that dream, becoming a reality, what's that like? It's crazy. Like, we we both, we all three talked about it uh, since freshman year, like I said before. Uh, but just to share this moment with them, I'll never forget this in my life. Uh, this is our first time and last time we'll be signing, so, you know, we got to take everything in. But I think, man, th those guys there, man, I love them with all my heart. Uh, Anything they need, I'll be there for them, man, and just just like, share this moment with them, man. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. It feels like LCA and just Lafayette in general fills up college rosters, mm -hmm. no matter yeah. where y'all go. Just kind of talk about being able to do that from Lafayette uh, and just filling up college rosters across the country. Yeah, I mean, people don't really see the talent that we have in the, in the, in the Lafayette area. Well, also the Opelousa area, because I'm from Opelousa, but uh, people don't really see the talent that we have. Uh, we get overlooked a lot, uh, but just to get our names out there to help others out too, I think that's one thing that we all harping on. Uh, LT, you got the Jack Bashers, you got the Sage Ryans, you got all the Maliks. Uh, just making sure that the guys under us, you know, get this chance and opportunity to compete at the next level also.